Hi, my name is Lauren Schwind. I am a artist, Reiki practitioner, and tarot reader, and I, uh, you know, astrologer type person. And I wanted to just kind of make a quick video to kind of explain the energies going into this Virgo season. Um, what I'm going to be using, I'm not actually going to do any card pulls, but I'm going to use the cards as tarot cards, I mean, as, um, ways of relating to astrology and some of the themes that are coming up today. So the two decks I'm going to be just kind of talking with and through are going to be these two, the Living Wheel and the Cosmic Tarot. I'm not going to be pulling any cards for energies today. I want to do that more closer to the Pisces full moon coming up later this month, but I felt like it would be important to kind of talk about the energies behind what just happened and kind of leading up to the Pisces full moon. So just as a basic overview, we have two energies and then to me the most significant in my wheelhouse of energies each month uh, we have and through the season we have the new moon and the full moon and with the full moon we kind of get downloads um, as far as what we are looking at we're receiving during the full moon so there's a lot of like what are we dreaming up what are we open to and kind of like deciding we'll plant during the dark moon, I mean, also that's another way of looking at this, dark moon versus full moon. Um, and then there is looking at the energy of receiving, which is the full moon. So what messages are kind of coming through? Um, when we're looking at the moon, the actually the tarot card for the moon is the high priestess. So when we're looking at the high priestess, we're kind of talking about like, okay, so what energies are we relaying through our subconscious? What's kind of like dealing with our, our back of the brain sort of chemistry going on? Right now, the sun is in Virgo, so we're in what is called Virgo season. That is the um, constellation of Virgo. And a fun little thing about the full and dark moon. Every time we have a dark moon, the moon is in the same sign that the sun is in. So this last dark moon, boom, the sun is in Virgo. So of course the moon was in Virgo. And the Virgo energy, we can kind of relay in this card, the hermit. The hermit being about that internal work, that work within ourselves and creating our own light within this world of which we can use to navigate um, the physical realm. So what I really like about um, the lunar cycles is when we are in a sun cycle or a yeah sun cycle of either um, an earth sign or a water sign is that of course when we get to the full moon we see the opposite kind of like effect. So the opposite to Virgo is Pisces. So when we get into our full moon energy, we find ourselves in the Piscean energy, which is actually uh, represented by the moon card, oddly enough. So these things are opposite, but they're opposite in a balanced way, almost like two sides of the scale. So they are after very similar things. These are signs that are after very similar things, but go about it in just different ways. And this like balanced, uh, kind of like two ends of a spectrum. So for the hermit, we have maybe looking at life through the physical realms. This is of course Virgo being an earth sign. So there's more this you know, focus on the physicalness. There's a lot of focus on the body with Virgo. So if with this new moon uh, slash uh, dark moon that kind of just finished up on Friday, we have this, uh, this like reflection on our physical well-being as well as like how we are making our work 
work for us um, in this world. Whereas we're looking at this very intangible sort of energy that is going on with Pisces. Um, and when we look at some more energies around these signs, Virgo is ruled by Chiron, the ruled the <laughs> wounded healer, and uh, Pisces is Neptune, the playground of the subconscious self, where we kind of allow ourselves to dream. So these two are kind of your your go tos for uh, Piscean energy. Um, so what does that kind of mean? How do we kind of break that down? Um, with this video, my intention is to kind of find ways of helping you prepare for the full moon. We just kind of wrapped up and we're still in the feels of Virgo, uh, super deep looks of the new moon, but what are we kind of preparing ourselves, um, with Piscean energy that's coming up? So this is kind of a little like premature, but it's never too early to start reflecting, right? It's the moon. So let's get into it. Um, another card that kind of is good for this Neptunian energy is the Hanged Man. This is the tarot card for Neptune. So if we're looking at Piscean energy through these two cards, Neptune and the Pisces constellation going through our moon. <laughs> so many cards, so little time here. Just enjoy it. Um, this full moonness, we can kind of relate it to these two cards. So Neptune energy, the hanged man, Pisces energy, the moon. So what are we kind of like unpacking as we get closer? Because the moon is starting to already fill itself out again. The moon is already starting to change her position and create this space of she's literally creating herself um, to this like receivable information of what the full moon is. So what are some themes that might be coming up or that you can even pull some cards around? It's kind of what I want this video to be about is like how can you kind of navigate for your own card pulls? Um, and what questions to kind of be digging in and being reflective of. So when we're looking at Piscean energy, there's a lot of energy around the subconscious. It is the last sign in the zodiac. And a kind of like key word you can dive into with this energy is I believe. Pisces is about the knowing that is beyond the physical. It's about balancing your intuition, balancing what you know with what you feel into a place of truly knowing. This like idea of knowing with the collective. It's 12th house. So this is like deep, deep cosmic waters of um, beliefs and knowing uh, unbalanced Piscean energy. Piscean energy can be seen as flighty and unrealistic, as well as something that's like, where are you getting your shit from? Like, where are you coming up with these ideas? And not really having a lot to base it off of besides feeling. But a truly balanced Pisces and Piscean energy is about, I know because I see, I feel. And I connect those two things on a deeper space. So what kind of thing the theme might be for you is what am I receiving for my intuitive self? What is the knowledge I need to be receiving to fulfill my intuitive self? Because when we look at the full moon, we can kind of see that as like, I receive. This is what I'm receiving. Pisces energy being, I believe, I know. I know because I am in tune. I know because I release a certain amount of control. And that comes back to my hanged man friend. Uh, this is a card that's really about releasing control 
I'm really releasing um, power to allow the process of healing. Um, and what's actually kind of funny seeing these two together, you see uh, in this deck, at least the cosmic tarot, you see this like this receiving uh, into this little crustacean right here. You see this like Pisces moon and it's like giving some information there or some nourishment of knowing. Um, so I kind of really like this deck specifically for understanding Pisces. It straight up shows the double fish. Like it's very like, yes, this is big Pisces energy. What good? What is good? Um, so a good thing to maybe pull around this time is to start asking, okay, so what am I receiving about my intuitive self? Of course, right now the moon is not anywhere close to being full. So within the next uh, week, week and a half, like every two weeks, it makes that change from new to our dark to full and illuminated where we get this mirror of information from the moon and in our intuitive self. Um, so now you might not be ready to open up into that yet because of course we're still, the, the moon is currently in Libra, but we're still really feeling the effects of this hermity um, new moon time. So of course this is all premature. If you are wanting to just kind of start tapping into those energies now, now is a, of course always a good time to connect with your cards, connect to astrology, and kind of just start asking yourself what the full moon energy can start bringing you as far as this connection to Pisces, the intuitive self, and the collective consciousness. Because Pisces is about that. Pisces is here to teach us that. And Pisces is really like it can be the hard sign to understand because you're just like, where are you, fam? Like, what unrealistic bullshit is this? But it's not bullshit. It's really just a matter of finding that balance of what are we here to receive and trust our intuition. Um, so I hope that kind of helps to better understand um, the energies coming up. Of course, again, we are just still receiving a lot from Virgo energy, that hermit energy, creating our own light in this world through this dark moon energy. So, of course, I don't want anyone to feel like, oh, I have to be real Piscean right now. It's like, no, this is just something you might want to start thinking about for the near future. And when we get closer to that full moon, I'll be doing some collective pulling. So... Thank you for listening to me for a little over 13 minutes and have a good day.